Also, can we all just appreciate Tia on the box? Hi, baby. Say hi to my subscribers. She hates me. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, how are you? If you are coming back, thank you so much for coming back. I just wanna let you know that all of my socials are in the description, my Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, Redbubble, and Coffee if you would like to support this channel. Also, I am trying to get to 10,000 subs, so if you would like to hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, that would make my day. Absolutely love that. Please join the Saga family. And as always, like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more LGBTQ plus content from this face right here. So let's get into the video. So I haven't done a non-binary or talking about the non-binary stuff in a while. So I was like, you know what? I want to go through my comment section. I want to see if there are any questions about gender or that kind of thing that I can answer. So today I am going to be answering your guys' questions about being non-binary or anything you guys want to know about being non-binary. If you have any more questions about it, comment down below of this video and maybe I'll make a part two depending on how this goes and if you guys like it, let's get into it. Is gender fluid and non-binary the same thing? I'm still trying to learn the terms and discover myself. I was born a woman, but I feel like I carry both male and female aspects of myself. Some days I have body dysphoria and feel more masculine and others, I feel like both. I don't mind what pronouns people call me. It doesn't bother me. I am just confused what it is and I'm still trying to understand. Gender fluid just falls under the non-binary umbrella. It's one of the specific identities that you can identify as. I actually identified as gender fluid when I first came out and then realized that the term non-binary fit more with how I felt, but it's all about how you feel and whatever label really works for you best. Discovering kind of the fluidity of gender and how amazing that can be. Honestly, when I was younger, my gender was a whole a bit more fluid than it is now. I'm pretty stagnant for the most part, feeling kind of not really having a gender, but then there are days where I do feel like a man or I do feel like a woman. So it just depends on how you want to identify and what labels really fit best for you. What I'm thinking about is just that I feel part woman and part neutral, not boy, but also not girl. Does that even exist or is it just in my imagination? If it does exist, what is it called? So what you're kind of describing sounds a little bit like you might be a demigirl, which is a gender identity that falls under the non-binary umbrella. It pretty much means that you don't fully identify all of the time with being a woman or being a girl and you may or may not identify with another another gender in addition to feeling like a woman. I hope that helps. Can you be non-binary and bisexual? I am just not sure, I'm just a little confused. So your gender has nothing to do with your sexuality and your sexuality has nothing to do with your gender. Sexuality is who you are sexually attracted to, so you can be heterosexual, bisexual, homosexual, asexual, demisexual, graysexual, pansexual. And gender has to do with how you view yourself and how you wish other people to view yourself. So I'm non-binary, I want people to not see me as a man or a woman, low-key be confused by it. The two don't really go off of each other very much. Do you think individuals should have the freedom to choose their own gender, in particular children? I'm just curious. So people don't really choose their genders, they just are their gender. They just find the words that best describes how they feel. And then when it comes to children, I definitely think that kids should be able to express themselves and how they are and who they are. Specifically, I feel like socially as well is like the biggest thing and letting kids being called by their name and correct pronouns is a really good thing. I know that hormones and that kind of thing is a really controversial thing to talk about when it comes to kids and like trans kids especially because no one wants to see anyone regret something that they did when they were that young but people also need to take into account that kids for the most part know who they are. I know that when I was like five and six, I was having the same feelings that I do now. <laughs> and I had to really repress that kind of stuff when I was a teenager. I became probably the most feminine that I have ever been just to kind of be like, oh, I'm not like, 
Not like how I used to be, I'm a wool man. And that's what I'm gonna grow up to be, even though I wanted to die. I think at the very least, social transition for kids. And then if you ever want to have a more nuanced conversation about hormones and surgeries for kids, but I'm not as educated as I wish I would be about that. So I would have to do a whole lot more research before I started talking about that subject. Also, it's not my body. So I would never tell anyone what to do with their bodies, like I would never want anyone to tell me what to do with mine. That's kind of where that is for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any more comments about being non-binary, about gender, about anything like that, leave a comment below, let me know. I will possibly do a second part to this at some point. So ask your questions and I might answer them in a video someday. I will see you guys in the next video, bye.